Wait, wait. Okay, Achtung, Achtung. Hello. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. We are about to start now. So welcome to our CRRC exhibition stand of uh, Inner Trust 2022. Today we are going to give you a technical briefing of high-speed maglev systems. My name is Li Qi, System Engineering. Now I'm your moderator for today. So short before we start, please allow me to introduce our guests for today. The President of Austria, Mr. Blida, the CEO from Prosa Company, Mr. Heimlinger, and the senior engineering, Dr. Kusek. The acoustic technology experts from German Railway Systems Technology Company, Mr. Eichenlaub. The executive director of CG Rail Research and Development Center, Mr. Wuprich. The manager, Mr. Zeitler, Mr. Rex, <coughs> Mr. Birkenkot, and Mr. Gunther. The EDCS manager from German Railway System Technology Company, Mr. Zhang Xu. President, 
uh, chef engineering of CRC, Mr. Zhang Xinning, president of Research Institute of CRC, Mr. Zhao Mingyuan, the deputy director of CRC Science and Information Center, Mr. Ho Bo, and other guests and partners of CRC, thank you all for your coming. Now let's have a short look on the introduction video of high-speed maglev systems. Okay, thank you all for watching. Now please uh, welcome our system engineer, Mr. Yuan Qi, to give the a technical briefing of high-speed maglev systems. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. My name is my name is Yuan Qi. I'm from a briefing a briefing of family of CRC. I start with this one. Uh, human pursuit of speed is endless. I'd like to see. Uh, in when we look back into the history from uh, uh, steam to diesel to electric drive. The traveling speed increases significantly with uh, technology evolution. And CRC has been deeply involved in such process. And today, eventually the process leads us to a new era. And it's the honor to introduce you the newly developed 600 kilometers maglev system. When we 
conducting the development of the system, uh, several factors, the key factors are driven us. Is a higher speed achievable? Can safety be still guaranteed even at a higher speed? And can the passenger cap capacity be enlarged? And can eco-friendly technologies be widely used uh, in a new platform? And can, can the train be more compatible with our, our with the environment? And can intelligence technologies be used to deliver a smarter service customer? So those are the key factors for development of the system. Let's look into each factor in detail. Thanks to the innovation of so many uh, technologies, uh, like uh, covering uh, the aerodynamics improvements, the material selection, and also uh, powerful propulsion improvements. Most importantly, thanks to the nature of uh, maglev levitation system, our new train can reach up to a top speed of 600, 600 kilometers per hour. You're wondering why we set 600 kilometers per hour as a targeted speed. If you look at the speeds, the aircraft normally travels at 800 kilometers per hour. Uh, a common high-speed train travels at 350. So there is a speed gap in between. It's uh, uh, not, I would like to say, it's not a small, a small gap. So we target uh, 600 kilometers as a targeted speed. We system will play a great role in this domain that bring more travel options to all the customers. We stop the power supply system. Its peak output cover can be as much as 24 megawatts per set. And the train, it is therefore gains excellent acceleration and deceleration rate. As you can see from the slides, it only takes 3.5 minutes to make the train get it to the top speed, and you only need three minutes to facilitate a complete stop from the top speed. Safety is always essential for public transportation. And for maglev system, you have a fundamental advantage. You can see these holding arms. It will contribute to the structural integrity between the vehicle and the guideways. And meanwhile, the stopping distance will be better guaranteed because of precise control of the brake system. As I mentioned, the maglev system adopts sectional power supply. So the traction power will only be available at the running section when the train is on top of it. So that gives us a fundamental mitigation to unexpected motoring or collision. Meanwhile, active safety control system has been widely used like all over the, uh, the safety. We can do sensoring, we can do prediction, of the potential risks, so reaction will be done accordingly. Maglev train is able to be configured in a flexible manner. From the slide you can see, the train can be configured in a 10 car. As much as 900. are also considered as other form of transportation generation brake is always be the prioritized brake mode so energy recovery is one of the consideration and so because of this contactless levitation the wearing the noise and the rolling resistance will be reduced significantly then we we did perform a proper material selection. And in our new platform, the recyclability ratio 
is up to 92% based on current stage. Thanks to the application of linear motor, our train can handle a gradient as much as 10%, which is much higher than, uh, I would say, common railroad transportation. And they only take 350 meters to finish the uh, turning. So the minimum rated is only 350. That is common compared to the other uh, mode of transportation. And we believe because of the above features that will give us more flexi uh, flexibility when you do a, a project planning. Intelligence uh, diagnostics features are already established on the new platform. The train we have built so far is enable a GOA3 uh, operation. And in the prototype, we have installed more than 7,000 sensors, like load cells, accelerometers, thermal states, stuff like that, to realize a real-time condition monitoring. Once we get the signal from condition monitoring, now through a, data, a, data, a dedicated data link, all these signals and health pattern of the systems can be captured and transferred to the V-site facilities. And we believe a smart operation and maintenance decision will be enabled and also it, it, it will support the life, life cycle access management. Of course, smart service from uh, uh, mobile apps, of course, uh, private entertainment systems, wireless charging, stuff like that could be on board. Uh, we have done uh, several demonstrations to uh, try to bring the up-to-date IT technology to give the customer better experience. Let's talk about the capacity of CRC for development of maglev system. As you can see from the slides, when we do this development, we have established platforms covering R&D, verification and uh, validation, and also manufacturing. I would like to explain more about uh, uh, these two pictures in the middle. The upper picture show an operation simulator. In, in this platform, we combined the, the real components with computer mo monitoring and computer simulation. So you can see we can, uh, we can create a dedicated operation scenario, then we can check the system compatibility under such scenario. The scenario could be normal operation, uh, could be uh, any uh, you know, uh, abnormal situations. And the bottom picture here, <clears throat> I would like to say this is another challenge, very, very challenging engineering express uh, practice. So this is a full speed range dynamical test bench. So on, on the, uh, underneath this yellow, yellow structure there, we have a lot of actuators. So nobody did uh, 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 this type of simulation before because we try to mimic the actual impacts from the uh, track irregularity or from the high speed vibration. So the actuator will give, give us different inputs. So the vehicle dynamics will be recorded, analyzed, and fine-tuned. In the central facility of China, we have built several modules. You can see Operation and the maintenance control center have been established. Uh, proportion and power supply system has been established. And this graph shows uh, the turning switch of the guideway. It's actually uh, been built. And this picture, in particular, that's a footprint of the central facility in Qingdao, China. And so far, we have uh, more than 500 full-time employees from marketing, from engineering, and also from servicing 
they are dedicating their career in the maglev business. Financial solutions is, all, uh, is also under investigation. No matter what type of uh, financing is available, our goal is always be cover the entire lifespan of the project, from consulting to service, from design to uh, retirement. Now, this is the vision of uh, a future transportation architecture. We hope that will be a combined transportation form for the human beings in the future. We will have metro cars, we will have regional commuters, we will have high-speed rails, and of course, maglev. And this is the vision of CRC as well. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, we hope we can work with you for a better future in a smarter way. Thank you for your attention. Thank you very much. Have a nice day. Thank you. Okay, many thanks for your sharing. Now I think everyone have a general idea of high-speed maglev system so far. And I would say that uh, due to the time limitation, that's the end of our technical briefing. And uh, if you are interested in our system, please come to the media at the stand. Our staff will give you more detailed information. And at the end, thank you all for your attending. I wish you enjoy the exhibition. Thank you. It's okay.